Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I'm just on Robinhood, looking at some stocks. You know, a lot of people don't know all the things that Robinhood actually offer, even some of the people who already signed up. And if you do, then it doesn't apply to you. Now, I'm just scouring here, looking at the different stocks, doing what I do. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. Index stocks or on Robinhood. Now, we know that Stash, we know that Acorns, we know that Betterment, and we know that Wealthfront invests in ETFs and also index funds, okay? Just each other do within themselves. Now, Stash is pretty good because I like how they break things down. They have a graph to see the trend from the date of inception from that fund or that stock as it goes up. And we all know that ETFs and index funds are various of stocks put together that pretty much work hand in hand, like social media stock, uh, you know, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, all these things. If it has a stock, they kind of group them in, in one, one big swoop of an index fund or ETFs. And Stash is great for that. And you pay that monthly fee of a dollar. Uh, that's basically around it. Don't get me wrong. I use Stash. I actually like it. It's transparent. It gives you the breakdown of how much money you're putting in monthly if you're doing the allotment like I am every month. And then the percentage of stock of that particular one that you're buying, except for the Ber <laughs> Berkshire Hathaway BRK.B, of that one, I think it's like $170. I bought it when it was $77 or something like that. And there's only one in his particular one, and that's the Rolling with Buffett one. His Berkshire Hathaway A stock, Jesus Christ, uh, I think it's over $100,000. I'm off of it. But let me get into these stocks on, you know, Robin here, because you guys need to know this information. And I'm not pushing you, I'm not telling you where to put your money to invest. But I will say this. The Vanguard stocks, which you all may always hear me talk about, has outperformed the S&P. And Vanguard is the index that tracks the S&P. If you go back to some of my early videos, I explain it all. It can be quite confusing. But let's get into the meat and potatoes and let's get this video over because sometimes <laughs> I can be chatty. So, VIS, that's the ticker, that's the code. That is the Vanguard Industrial ETF. I'm going to just go through these guys. V OOG, that's the Vanguard S&P 500 growth stock, okay? That's V-O-O-G. V-O-O, that's the Vanguard S&P 500 ETFs. V-N-Q, V-N-Q, that is the Vanguard REIT ETFs. Don't forget REIT, that we're talking about real estate trust, okay? Yes, Vanguard has a stock to track that. VPU, VPU, that's the Vanguard Utilities ETF. VHT, VHT, that's the Vanguard Healthcare ETF. VTI, VTI is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. Now, I'm going through these so you guys can start tracking these things so you understand what I'm getting at. Now, I threw one in here. This is the SCHA. SCHA. It's a Schwab US Small Cap ETF. VGK, not MGK. <laughs> VGK is the Vanguard MSCI European one. Okay. VTV. VTV, the Vanguard Value ETF. And then last but not least is the BND. The BND, the Vanguard Total Bond Market Fund. Okay, so I gave you a lot of tickets. I said it twice. Some of you probably got annoyed, but I wanted you guys, if you was writing, to write them down and go research for yourself. I always talk about these index funds, but I say, you know what? I'm not giving the people any index funds. Some of these guys are lost. Now, some of these stocks range from $15 all the way to $200 something dollars. You look at the trend. You look at the history, you look at all the EPS, and most of these, if not all of them, have dividends. Think about that, dividends. 
You may not get a great return, but it still will have some show of growth. Look at the trend. Okay, go back, look at the hit the five year mark on Robinhood and look how it goes up. Most of them are going upward, okay? Slowly, like in the past five or six years, only raised like five or six dollars. But look at the dividend, the delicious dividends. That's what I want you to do. You have the tickers, you have the symbols, you have the codes. So go out and find these index funds on Robinhood with zero commission price. The reason why I gave you these, because some of these index stocks are on Stash that you'll be paying a dollar for, but Stash is a little easy because you don't have to put the total amount of that one fund. You can do increments, and then you will be investing and returning increments of that stock. Hopefully, I broke that down. So meaning is, if you see an ETF on here for $50, you have to pay that $50 to buy that index fund. If that index fund on Stash is $50, you can still put in $10 but you will be investing and returning little minuscule pieces of that stock. Kind of like Acorns, kind of like Betterman, also Wellfront. You are investing pieces of that stock, okay? Little slices of that stock until you get $50 on that one portfolio. Then you may have a whole index fund of that particular one. I broke it down. Anyway, you have the tickets, you have the code. This is Ross World, where I continue to try to get information because I don't want no excuses. I want no excuses because <laughs> you got a stock challenge. Man up and women up. I'm out.